But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Let me tell you about my great God. Hey guys, Pastor Tim here. Hope you're ready to get your day started off in God's Word. We are on Exodus chapter 28. Moses still at the top of the mountain, still talking to God. But we're now moving from instructions that were given to how to build the tabernacle. Uh, now we're going to the priesthood. We're going to see about the priest and the high priest. And this is going to be Aaron and his sons. And eventually this is going to become uh, everyone that is born of the tribe of Levi. They'll become a part of the priesthood. And we see here, first of all, certain garments and the significance of them that were given unto the high priest, as we see at the very beginning of this chapter, but also garments that are given unto the regular priest as well. Not to, you know, demean them or anything. They're just the other priests that help work in the tabernacle. So Aaron, he's going to be the first high priest. And the first thing we see here uh, instructed to Moses to make for him is an ephod. Now, an ephod is just a, a garment. It just refers to a garment, but does have special significance in the things that it's embroidered with and what is placed upon it. And this ephod that um, uh, Aaron would wear, if you want to imagine it almost like as an overshirt or something like that, um, and it would have on each shoulder an onyx stone, all right? One on this shoulder, one on the other shoulder. And inscribed on these onyx stones would be the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. Six on one shoulder, six on the other. And it's a great picture of, you know, this is what Aaron would wear when he would go into the Holy of Holies before the Lord to offer sacrifice, to commune with God and, and, and so forth. And it's just a great picture of Christ as our great high priest bears the names of his children. All right. If you know Christ is your Savior, you are a child of God. He bears the name, names of his children upon his shoulders when he goes to intercede on our behalf before God the Father. We have a great high priest, all right? He is superior to what we see described here in the first five books of the Bible. Christ is superior to that. That's not to demean or just say we don't have to learn about what's happening in these chapters, but what we have to understand what we're looking at and what we see happening in these chapters is just a foreshadow of what Christ is going to be fulfilling in the future and what Christ is just so much greater as God fulfilling that role as the high priest as opposed to a man being Aaron. He just had the names of the 12 tribes, a representation of bringing forth the burdens uh, and the sins of the people of God unto God himself. Christ as our high priest does the same thing in a much greater way because he bears the names of all of his children when he comes to intercede for us before God the Father. Uh, and we see this continued on in the next thing that's described, and that is the breastplate. It's kind of the same idea. This will go, obviously, over the heart of the great high priest, and it would have four rows of stone, you know, three, 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 three. And each stone, different types of stones, just represented a different tribe of Israel. Kind of the same concept. He's, you know, carrying now, not just bearing the burdens or bearing the names of the people of Israel upon his shoulders, but he's also uh, carrying them over his heart. And God, obviously, as our great high priest, loves us and he carries us uh, in his heart as well In when he intercedes and acts as our great high priest before God the Father. And then the chapter ends uh, with just the regular garments, all right? But there were still significant regular garments that were given unto the other priests. So this at this time would be Aaron's sons, all right? And they were all named at the very beginning of this chapter, all right. So this was a little bit of a longer chapter. I think it was 43 verses. All right. And, you know, you could get kind of like lost while you're reading. I know if you guys are like me, sometimes if you're reading something for a long, longer period of time, you could kind of lose track of, wait a minute, what did I just read about? All right. So I encourage you, if that was the case, hey, go back, read over it again. See if you can see these things that I was just mentioned in this video. And of course, write things down. Uh, that stick out to you. That's why I want you guys to keep the journal just to show that you're actively reading, but also to help you keep track while you're reading as well. Don't wait till the very end uh, to write everything down. You know, if something sticks out to you while you're reading it, hey, right then and there, write it down. And as always, tell somebody what you got out of God's word today. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless.